Good evening guys, thanks for joining us um, for another tutorial on PCB design using KiCad. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make use of building blocks in KiCad. So a building block is actually just a schematic sheet where you can take existing schematics you already had in different pro projects and just link them in an easier way to be used in this project. So you, you don't have to redraw the circuit, you don't have to uh, put it all in one sheet, you can link it together. Uh, that's what I'll show you guys today, how to make building blocks. Because as you guys know, we are busy with our micro macro keyboard. Um, so you can see here, we've got different aspects to the macro keyboard. We've got a display, we've got encoders, ambient noise checkers, the brain, the controller. So I was wanted a way to make it easier to link all these different aspects together. All these different circuits. So KiCad is as a function called Sheets, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to use the sheets. Um, so yeah, enjoy. So as you can see here, these are basic sheets. So I've got a sheet for my SMT32, I've got a sheet for my sound detection circuits, and a sheet for my Cherry Keys 9x9 with LEDs. So what makes this quite unique is if I double click on it, you can see it actually opens a whole new circuit. So if I ever want to use the circuit again in a different project, I just have to use the sheet. Um, just a trick with this, once you double click, you have to you can't just push escape, you have to go to view, leave sheet, or right click. So you'll see the same with sound detection, it's a circuit by itself. Cherry circuit by itself. So these are circuits you can just take, copy, paste in your next project, which makes it ideal. Um, but what it's important to note about making a schematic for a sheet is these. So these are called hierarchy labels. So hierarchy labels is, let's just make a test one, it's just a label that's going to go to a different sheet. So these labels that you see here, uh, that's what you do with just normal L. Uh, that's called a local variable, like programming should I say. So this is only for the sheet that you see here. But once you place a rocky sheet, these ones, so VCC ground output, then I can make a sheet to the outside world. So those are global. Uh, so in this circuit, I basically just want my VCC, my ground, and my output. So there's my, so I only need three. So if I go view, leave, so my SMT is a bit more involved because I want all the outputs and inputs of my microcontroller to the outside world. So you can see I've got my oscillators, I've got my resets, R squared C. So that is that. Uh, my cherry will see, my button, button, and what I'm missing here is actually my three volts and my ground should also go to the outside world. So what I can do is just make a a rocky label, make it 3v3, and now I link it. So I say copy, there we go, and I do the same with ground. Uh, C for copy, double click, ground. So now my ground and three volts are coming from the outside world with my LED, with my button. So I save this, view, leave. Now you can see I don't have any three volt, three or ground here. To get that, I use the this button. It's called place hierarchical pin. So now I tell it, please place my pin to the outside world. There's my three volts, place again, there's my ground. So you have to keep clicking to add it. So I've got everything here, so it's fine. So this, I can just connect it. So if I connect this part to this VCC, then actually all these three volts here is connected to all the VCCs here. Uh, why can't I leave? Why can't I leave? Exit. And then my VCC here. So these it's basically taking your bigger bigger circuits, putting it together as one. Uh, so this is ideal for, once you make a circuit, try to make it so that you can make a sheet out of it. 
because myself I've made the ESP32 circuit about 10 times and I should have done this from the beginning because the next time I start a new project I can basically just copy over a circuit I know that's working and I can just keep using it because we're all going to use, need a microcontroller uh, we're all going to use, need certain things um, so now I'll just quickly show you how this is done so what is cool is if I go in our previous videos we made a battery charger here I've got my battery charging circuit so a battery I'm just going to care about the process now so I'll delete this because a circuit will have USB for programming as well it's not just related to battery charging and output is not important for now so yeah I've got my V bus which is my input and I've got my V bat as my output so if I put in my V bus I'm going to so I'm going to get my V bat charged so what I do is I place a rocky so I make it Bus. you can make it any name um, but you have to link it so if I go to C now that's linked feedback I like to have my voltages pointing upwards and then ground Ground pointing down, voltage is up. It's not very pretty, but it shall do. So now these three are going to be my IOs to the outside world. So my V bus is an input. My ground is an input. It was actually bi-directional, um, but yeah, it doesn't matter. And then V bat is actually output. So you can change the functionality of the pins will show you the orientation if you double click on it you'll see you can choose output input bi-directional so the VBATs are output and my ground it's throughout the whole system maybe more passive than anything else uh, but it's an input to the system should I say so now we save this so now what you can do is I've got my battery charging schematic saved here and that is the keycat schematic so if I copy this and I put it in the folder that my other project is saved blocks so if I paste it here you can see I've got a new schematic in my project there's my SMT there's my it's actually STM not SMT STM32 there's my sound determinator my sound detective circuit my cherry mix and battery now I want to add my battery charger to this circuit not this one this one so what I do is I put say create sheet hierarchical sheet and there and I make sure this name is the same name as my battery sheet battery so I can say rename copy it's always easier paste uh, battery charging circuit it's going to ask you are you sure yes now you'll see if I double click on it I go to my old schematic so I didn't have to redraw the schematic I just had to take it to the new project I saved so much time so you can see the designators are still question marks so we're going to annotate later uh, leaf sheet so we do the same here so we say here we go my vbus my vbat and my ground nice and easy so I'm going to be input for my vbus my battery is going to be charged. How easy is that? Right click, resize, just to make it a bit neater. Uh, you can push M for move. And now we can do this. So then we'll have a V bus. Just loading some schematics and as easy as that so now I've got four different circuits on one schematic and they are linked by the hierarchy let's say together hierarchical pins so that's very important so we got a microcontroller we got a sound detector circuit this is such a nice way to keep track of your circuits and because imagine you had 
this and this everything on one schematic and now if I want to build this uh, circuit tomorrow that I want to make use of the voice detection circuit I can just take it across I don't have to redraw it so that's what I want you guys to remember the important things is when you design a circuit think about how you can use it for the future make use of this hierarchical pins so these are for the outside world the net labels are for the inside world and that's easy as that so then you can just copy a schematic to your new project and add the sheet so then you go sheet yeah create hierarchy sheet that's the button you want and then this button place the pins guys please let me know in the comments if there's any questions about this i think it's very helpful um, especially if you're going to do a lot of projects in the future um, i will also make more videos explaining these circuits because as we make this uh, macro keyboard uh, we need to understand everything because that's the goal of it so guys if this was helpful um, please yeah push that like button push the subscribe button and let me know what else you guys want to learn about PCB designs. So we're trying to make it easy, simple uh, for beginners. Uh, so this is just a video on how to make building blocks so you can use it in the future. Guys, have a fantastic week. Uh, I hope you guys are designing, having fun. Yeah, enjoy guys. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.